After last night blowing a 6 to nothing lead, the Cubs come into this game in Atlanta feeling like it's another must-win game. Because going into today, or going into this game, they had a one-game lead over the Miami Marlins. But Ozzie Albies, that's going to be home run number 33 for the Braves. He's really just had an incredible season despite spending some time on the injured list too, still putting up those numbers. But now we're in the third, and the Cubs, they have a lead again. And at this point, it feels like you cannot lose this lead again if you want to put yourself in a good position to make the playoffs. They were up 3-1, but then the Braves tied it, but then in the top of the ninth, they're going to get another shot at keeping the lead, as that's going to be Jan Gomes delivering in the clutch. It's the top of the ninth with one out. They come through. They end up delivering a run, so it's 4-3 to three right now, and then they tried putting in Julian May Merriweather in the bottom of the eighth. He ended up letting them tie the game, and then they put in Mark Leiter, who hadn't pitched in a week due to an injury, and Marcelo Zuna is going to deposit that into the seats with one out so that makes it a 4-4 game and then we're here in the top of the 10th or the bottom of the 10th inning after Acuna hit a game time single and that's going to be stolen base number 70 so that makes him the lone member of the 40-70 club now and then Ozzy Albies the next batter taking advantage of that 70th stolen base of Acuna and he's going to knock him in so the Braves would get another comeback win they overcame a 3-1 lead and then they even overcame a 4-3 lead in the bottom of 9th we're also down 5 5-4 going into the bottom of the 10th, and they win this one. Obviously, 40-70, a huge headline from Ronald Acuna Jr., but this game could be very, very costly for the Cubs. They blew two straight leads in Atlanta. They need to start winning these next few games because the Marlins are up on the Mets, and it looks like it's going to be a tie.